Good morning. It's a new day. The Lord has woken us up. That means there's more for us to do. So it's time to rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It is great to be with you this morning. <clears throat> so today, I come to you with another hymn from my devotional book, Amazing Grace, 366 Hymns for the Calendar Year. Take time to be holy. William D. Longstaff, born 1822, died in 1894. We read these words in 1 Peter 1, 15 and 16. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. The valuable guidelines given in this hymn for living a holy life are just as pertinent for believers today as they were when William Longstaff wrote them more than a century ago. God still requires a holy lifestyle for his people. We sometimes confuse holiness with piety, which can be merely a hypocritical goodness that masks inner deceit or impurity. A truly holy or Christ-like <clears throat> life reveals the virtues mentioned in 2 Peter 1, 5 and 6. Goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. We are surrounded today by so much shame and shams and insecurities and that we're often unconsciously affected by <clears throat> such influences and to maintain the quality of life that God demands that we must have we must determine to take time to develop a life that is genuinely and consistently holy in every area William Longstaff though financially independent son of a wealthy English ship owner was a humble and devout Christian layman and a close friend and supporter of the Moody Sankey evangelistic team that stirred England with great revival campaigns during the late 19th century. After hearing a sermon on 1 Peter 1, 6, Be ye holy, for I am holy, with reference to the book of Leviticus from which it was originally taken, young William began to make the achievement of holiness his life goal. Although this was his only hymn, these words have since been invaluable influence for sincere believers everywhere who truly desire to live a genuine Christian lifestyle. Take time to be holy. Speak oft with thy Lord. Abide in him always and feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak, forgetting in nothing and his blessing to seek. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone by looking to Jesus like him thou shalt be thy friends in thy conduct his likeness shall see take time to be holy let him be thy guide and run not before him whatever betide in joy or in sorrow still follow thy lord and looking to jesus still trust in his word take time to be holy be calm in thy soul each thought and each motive beneath his control Thus led by his spirit to fountains of love, thou soon shalt be fitted for service above. 
great words to live by. So take time to be holy today. And may these words encourage you and strengthen you. Draw closer and closer to him each and every day he blesses us with. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you for this morning, this time. Together, we thank you for your word. And oh, Father, may we take time to be holy, set apart each and every day to do your will, your way in all things. Father, forgive us for the times we try to go our own way. We think we have forgiveness to your son. Lord, bless us now this day. May we go forth being your light to the world around us, being your hands, your feet to those who come across our path. We love and we thank you. We pray all these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and all God's children said, amen. Folks, have a blessed day. And coffee on.